throws of that side to start. Your boyfriend made it out there originally. I noticed he, uh, Sweet Tea, was out there. He got part of it. I know you're going to be heading over towards that later yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. So uh, actually, we just got invited out to that um, mm -hmm. and as well for E3. Uh, basically, that whole Boston event that uh, he went to, Nintendo was like, hey, we want you out for the finals of that. So mm -hmm. they invited us both out, and I'm hoping I can make uh, go later on to that tonight. Uh, we just got to figure it out because he's in double singles. And, um, yeah, I'm just glad to be on commentary. So thankful for this opportunity. Again. It's yeah. great. And hopefully these players will be thankful for the opportunity of who will be the first to be sent to lose on <laughs> screen here. Because it is going to bring Anti versus Rolo. Because Rolo locking up the Pokemon trainer. Doing a really good job so far of making sure that if Zelda is going to be on the stage, I don't want to give her time and the opportunity wow. to go for the shenanigans she's known for. And unfortunately, wow. Yeah, getting that zero to death actually, um, getting that you know clean zero to fifty percent with Squirtle there, switching to the clean Ivysaur, and then getting um, that up B Vine Whip connecting, and yeah, it just looked like it took. She didn't have a jump, and just it wasn't able to make it back. Yeah, and that's kind of one of those things that you want to make sure. Like if she does recover, she has a teleport recovery, of course. So you have to kind of sense that out and make sure you have the right punishment. I do like, well, like I mentioned earlier, Zelda's known for a lot of her specials, and that's where she does excels really well. So for Rolo, he knows Ooh. I have to be careful. But unfortunately, that back air. What? Ew, it's so powerful. You have to be careful. It's so strong. <laughs> wow. Yeah. No. Honestly, every time I watch, oh no, that was unfortunate. Bringing out the Phantom Knight and just SDing with that. Um, but you know what? He killed. He killed Rolo at uh, what was that? Seventy percent the last yeah. stock. And yeah, her bear definitely has tons of knockback. Um, and crazy. It is just insane what that kills at. Yeah. Shocks me every time. She's so powerful. <laughs> and yeah, like you were saying, she uses a lot of her special moves. She's a very gimmicky character. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, Zelda Mains really rely on that and um, them not being familiar with the matchups. Again, like for neutral B, Naro's Love, great tool uh, to get out of um, anyone's combos. And yeah, it's a big yeah. mix up. And Knight's really good thing. We'll go ahead and catch people on landings, ledge plays, what else? That cause people to hold shield, go for grabs. So it's one thing that Anti kind of knows what your character does. If you're main, if you're main, your character is considered to have, to have tools like this, you need to know how to use them well. For wow, killing him! <laughs> and it's totally. good because he for, he actually forced Rollo to go for such a recovery like that, and the Knight being out there in play was what got the kill here. Wow, twenty-one point four percent on that back there again. Crazy and getting a lot of these up, um, upbeat conversions here with her warp recovery, just connecting. Wow. The one time we do see Anti go for the jump, Rolo was there to capitalize on the effort. So really good play for Anti to go outside for Rolo to make that opportunity. It's good because at this point, some players get more accustomed to certain recoveries. He doesn't want to go for the low recovery because he's so scared of Ivysaur down air. Yeah. How disjointed, how powerful it is as a spike. So he had to go for that higher recovery. That that one time he went for it, he nearly rolled the fight. You want to go to my hands? I'll send you to my hands. Oh yeah, and not only that too, but because of the warp recovery, it makes it a little trickier for Ivysaur mm -hmm. to time his down air um, option off ledge to get that proper uh, edge guard. So it's a little more tricky. So yeah, he's just gonna have to adapt to Zelda's playstyle because that's what you got to do. That's what this game is all about. Yeah, you have a game plan, you get hit, and then you adjust from it there. Nice, really good to go ahead and use withdraw. It does have super armor, so it's able to go through the night and immediately go into the zone. That's kind of one thing the Squirtle's able to do is be the zone breaker that the Pokemon trainer needs. Yeah, he's definitely good at getting in, um, breaking that space barrier that a lot of uh, zoners like to do. They just kind of like to keep you out, but that's a great tool to just get in. And it is pretty safe. You can get footstooled um, as well, but the chances of uh, doing that is pretty hard, actually. <laughs> And Squirtle's actually oh. not that big, so it's definitely harder than it looks. The one, sure. uh, and the one thing I do really like about the stage is they're going on this Smashville. It's got no hazards, so it's got a static platform in the middle. Mm -hmm. And the one thing that I do like that Rolo is using is he's using that platform to get around the night, which Anti would mm -hmm. usually set up. Yeah, that ma that's making it a little more trickier. And then usually that he could just drop down off the platform, hit her before, or just wait it out like you were saying. Mm -hmm. Knight also has a really good tool to also have your opponent to hold on shield. That's what Anti wanted to. He wanted to make sure Rolo held the shield, buy him enough time to come back on the stage. I do let the call out from the upper, but Anti not making the opportunity to go for the gem and double a forward smash here. It's going to put Rolo off the stage, and he's able to avoid the Knight here. I like that uh, he just did Naro's Love again, kind of as like a ledge option there. Mm -hmm. That actually would read your roll up, get up, your regular get up, and then your roll. Exactly. So that uh, actually covers a lot of the options as well, and I like that he tried it. And you gotta wow. be careful when you go for those opportunities there with the regular league because it does have the upbeat, it does have a hitbox. Mm -hmm. So you gotta watch out. You can't just let go of the edge like that. You have to kind of respect Zelda potential to recover the stage. 
<laughs> and that was a moment. <laughs> oh my, it's just narrative. <laughs> Bye. Oh my gosh. All right, there we go. See with the quick attack. Nice nair to grab here to down throw. Definitely going to get those up air juggles there. That 0 to 45 roughly 50%, and then yeah, switching it right over to Ivysaur. It's like what we like to see, the bread and butter of Pokemon Trainer. Um, all right, going for a read there with the F, uh, reading his neutral getup with the F smash. Not connecting, but uh, Anti didn't get a punish off of that, so we'll see where he takes it. Oh, okay. Nice, able to get that hit. <laughs> it's so safe, honestly. Yeah. Oh, and he wow. said that he was going to go low. That's the thing about Ivysaur. He likes to go for that low mm. vine with that tether. You can punish that. He just said, get down there. Yep. Stay. Please, please, please stay down. Don't come wow. Back. Oh, Flare Flex is really strong. There we, yeah, there we go. It's just actually really safe for him to just keep on. Um, he can literally, like, place where he mm. wants to. And it's good for Anti. Oh, what a great opportunity since that out of stage play. Wow. Anti with the adjustment over game one. Now Rolo on the back foot. <laughs> I kind of saw Anti make a lot of good of adjustments here. He was using Knight a lot more to condition Rolo to respect the Knight. Mm -hmm. We saw that with the shield because Rolo immediately knew if I get hit by Knight, he might follow up after it. Mm -hmm. And then that's why Anti went for the grab. It's all about conditioning here with the, sh with the Knight. Set your opponent up to respect the Knight, and then you can get a lot of things from it. You can get jabs, shield, even you shield you, breaks. He was conditioning him to jump? Is that what you're saying? Conditioning just the whole shield. He's yeah, new. Okay, he, yeah. I have to hold shield. I gotta respect mm -hmm. the knight. I don't want to get hit. And even sometimes, if he's gonna go for the jump out of the shield, and I can catch that with the forward end, we see how powerful that yeah. is. Yeah, that's actually really smart and great that you caught that as well. Because I was noticing uh, Rolo was holding shield, just playing patient. But uh, then you're seeing anti mixing up, like you were saying, which is really smart and um, definitely what you need to do. You gotta utilize all of your characters. Oh, that backer. Uh, all of her tools. And that's a great way to just change it up. Yeah. Nice. She's not approaching Razor Leaf. It's a really good tool. It's got a little bit of hit stun, so you can close up the gap between things. That's one of the things that Ivasaur is really good at, is being mid-range and being wow. able to just capitalize <laughs> off the stage. The down air again, coming out from Ivysaur. We love to see that happen. <laughs> <laughs> you love to see it happen, but not to you, right? <laughs> <laughs> I know, yeah, not to you. It was a little, a little sarcastic, but no. Um, honestly, it's sometimes it is a little trickier too, like we were saying, because she had the warp recovery. But Rolo also did take away Anti's uh, jump there, so he kind of did like a panic uh, up beyond to the stage, and then he was able to just get that free back throw, nice. uh, grab the back throw to put her off stage. All right, switching to Ivy. So yeah, just gonna throw out Flare Blitz there. Sometimes that's just a safe option. Nice, really good opportunity to understand the knight. Still charging, Zelda has to hold that for a second before she lets it go. And then go for the up air. Wow, that dash attack almost killed. Yeah. Smart choice to switch over to Charizard. Uh, you got 150, mm -hmm. definitely gonna wanna. All right, switching over. Usually, sometimes Pokemon Trainer like to keep uh, Chars out for a little bit longer, try to see if they can rack up any percent. And because obviously Squirtle and Ivysaur are gonna die a lot sooner than um, yeah. Charizard. I do consider Charizard like, in a sense, to be shield arc as a character. <laughs> you mm -hmm. have a lot of weight to you, but you're also able to do damage. Mm -hmm. Squirrel also being top three lightest character in the game, so sometimes for yeah. Rolo to stay out there as Squirtle might be some damage. Here's the classic Ivysaur up there. And I say classic because he's been hitting it so many times. I mean, yeah, he's doing it. Okay, yeah, that's going to take yeah. it. I was going to say, yeah, I'm taking him to 53% right now, too. Gonna switch. Yeah, okay. I was wondering why he switched back to Squirtle. Yeah. Maybe, gonna, maybe just like mixing it up, trying to keep his opponent guessing. Mm -hmm. You do have to understand each weight, each Pokemon has a different weight class. So you're going to have to guess which opportunity is going to go for the right kill, especially against Squirtle being mm. the one of the lightest. Yeah, that Razor Leaf actually stopping um, Anti from using his up B. Actually, one of, uh, I, I feel personally, it's one of like, the best projectiles in the game, super fast, oh. comes out. Um, and the fact that it kind of has different angles to positions, it's great. <laughs> yeah. You're right, you're right on that, air. man. Different angles, sets up that positioning for the up air. That yeah. was a pretty good play. Yeah, that's great. Good, uh, great games to both players there. Um, and yeah, both kind of, we got to see them.